Oh, hello. We should be live. All right. <laughs> that was a few seconds back in today, and we would end up losing. It was a final score, <clears throat> four to three in a shootout. Um, yeah, we're going to get into it. We don't have any comments. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me well or if you guys can't. If you guys can't, then we're fucked. If you guys can, then we're perfectly fine. So, um, so yeah, guys, again, let me know if you guys can, um, yeah, let me know if you guys can, um, yeah, let me know if you guys can hear me then or not. Hoffman, Pitlick, Gallagher, Byron, Evans, Lekkonen, and Pazetta, Paling, Armia, Kulak, Petrie, Romanoff, Sherratt, uh, Edmondson, Weidman, and defense pairings. We can hear you now. All right, let's go, Winslow. Uh, this evening here today, it was absolutely crazy. I'm probably going to be deaf for the next few days. Understandable, Gabriel. Thank you, Winslow, for coming by. Yeah, Gabriel, understandable, man. I, it seemed like it was pretty damn loud in the Bell Center today. It seemed like it. What's the big news? Winslow? Sam, Sam Montebo gets a starting job tonight. Caden Primo backs him up and will probably play tomorrow in um, Winslow. Fuck off. It's not cutting out. Uh, and Primo backs him up and will get the start tomorrow in Detroit or uh, against Detroit. I forget what it is. Lens for the Kraken were Schwartz, McCann, Eberly. Appleton, Gord, Blackwell, Johansson, uh, Yarncrow, Lind, and Geeky, Shane, Donato, Giordano, Soshi, uh, Alain Dunn, Flurry were the defense pairings. Philip Grubauer starts the net for Seattle, and Drieger backs him up as he's been doing um, most of the year. Before the game, Joel Edmonston makes his season debut for the Canadians. Cedric Paquette is thankfully on waivers. Kale Clegg has also been placed on IR with an upper body injury. Uh, Edmonston officially back in the lineup. Um, he wouldn't do too much in the game. He was okay. You know, uh, you know, St. Louis said, you know, don't expect him to get the 24 minutes that he usually does per night. You know, you got probably about 19, maybe 20, roughly about that range. Um, yeah, understandable guy coming back from a back injury first game all year, probably in about three to four games is when he'll be playing full minutes. I'd assume if he's, if he's feeling like himself, Ham's the nice, the puck a few times early on in the first Fajo, you almost beat Oakley. Hell yeah, Fajo. Let's go, my guy. Um, oh yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm, I thought you were talking about fantasy. I'm dumb. Yeah, you almost did, my guy. In shootout for Mr. Ned Hoffman of the Miss Forsberg, Byron had the only decent shot. I agree, Randy. Yeah. Um, plus the fact that there was no Anderson or Lackanen was very surprising to me. Very, very surprising. Um, Habs iced the puck a few times early on in the first. Kraken then had some bursts of speed. Habs were able to counter them though, thankfully. Um, then uh, Caulfield gets a couple great looks in front. Byron then draws uh, an interference penalty. Habs go to the power play with some good looks and nice pressure, but no goals. 0 for 1 on the power play tonight. Crack and get a few looks, but Everly was it well, kind of came in offside. Yesterday, I went out to eat for lunch, and six of the Crack and players were at the bar right in front of me. Giordano, Dunn, Larson, Flurry, Schwartz, Tanov. No way, Gabriel. That's fucking awesome, my guy. Hell yeah. Let's go. Oh, my guy. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Let's go. Would have put Anderson or Lekin in ahead of Armia and Pazetta. I probably would have done that too, especially Armia goal. But um, but yeah, Armia, dude missed two wide open nets. I wide wide open shots. I don't get why he wasn't was on the uh why he was on the uh shootout. Um but yeah, Byron draws a penalty, 0 for 1. Uh Hoffman to Galley almost got a really, really good goal there. I actually took a pick of them from my table, kind of creepy. Hey Gabriel, I mean, hey, they're athletes. They should know this by now. They should know that the to then go back to the power play. I believe it was a trippy call. Um, and then the Kraken score. Shorthanded. Chris Weidman puts the puck in his own net after getting the puck from uh, after getting the port again. A very good wrister pass, Monty. I put and that's it. Two nothing Kraken. But San Luis challenges for the offside. And yeah, it was massively offside. So the goal is taken off. Still one nothing. Habs are over two in the power play tonight. Habs then played well. They got some turnovers. Kraken iced the puck a few times. Caulfield, some nice few chances. He gets taken down. I thought it should have been a penalty. Canadians will push, and we'd score. Michael Pozzetta ties it up from Evans and Byron for the 1-1 tie. Pulled with a nice strip, but he gets knocked down off the puck before he gets the shot off. Then the Kraken score. Ryan Donato puts home a wide-open goal with uh, Monty on the other side for a 2-1 Kraken lead. Paling then gets tripped, but a great move. Uh... Great move to nearly find Lekkinen in, uh, nearly get Lekkinen in the goal. Great chance for Lekkinen, but he's a, but he shoots it right at Grubauer. Late in the first, um, Kraken attempted the three to one lead, but Montebeau held them off. Shots were 16 9 for the Canadian, uh, but it was a two to one Kraken lead. 
Um, Canadians then go to the power play less than a minute in. It's holding the stick. Canadians looked all right, but not many impressive chances. 0 for 3 on the power play tonight. Uh, then Gallagher gets surprisingly two really damn good chances after the power play had expired. We then go to the PK. It's Pitlick for tripping. Very understandable penalty. Uh, and the Kraken then take a too many men penalty. Oh, one for one on the PK tonight. David, how's it going, my guy? Habs look pretty all right. There's near two on one for Lekin and good rush. Romanoff then shot wide. We were 0 for 4 on the power play tonight. Kraken get a few looks. But bad turnover leads to a great mount and both save right in front. Armia missed a wide open net. Then another good shot goes wide from him. Some turnovers. Habs were pretty much just playing lazy. Hell yeah, sons. Daddy Malkin has returned home. No doubt about it, sons. Absolutely. Excuse me, Daddy Making. Daddy Making has returned home. Excuse me. Thank you. Um, what, oh, which Risto or Bar? I see. Um, where am I? Montembeau has to play pretty well when the Krakens get the few shots that they had. Caulfield had some solid looks, but nothing. We just, the Canadians were period. We were not looking good. Um, yeah, we were not looking great. Kraken then went to the P- <laughs> no problem, sons. Don't worry about it. Kraken then went to the peak to the PP. It was Anderson called for roughing as he was getting into it with a couple crackheads. Uh, that was very very fun to watch. Uh, then the Kraken scored. Jared McCann right in front, nobody covering him. He gets the goal. Kraken are one for two on the PK tonight. Um, where am I? What up? Hey, Jack Olson. Holy shit, we're getting all the boys coming out. Hell yeah. Uh, but Canadians were one for two on the PK tonight. Then we went to the peak to the power play. Uh, Edmondson to the box for hooking. Not really that much. Um, or sorry, Habs to the PK, I should say. Um, not good. Shots were 24 22 Canadians, but it's three to one cracking. Hey, David, good night, my guy. I'm glad you're doing good as well. Thank you. I don't really have anything to talk about. Hey, don't worry about it, Fazio. Uh, tonight, Habs pressure early, and we score. Alexander Romanoff. 26 games without a shot, or sorry, without a goal, and uh, he gets it. Pitlick's a wide open shot that missed. He gets it, and Petrie, <sighs> sorry, and uh, Petrie with the other um, assist on that. It's three to two now. <laughs> Sons, I, I maybe will put Obama Coming off the light that's so the lights that the lights the light that's just over here, and literally my desk lamp. Those are the only lights that are on right now. Literally, like, if I turn my desk lamp off right now, that, it doesn't really make that much of a difference, but I'd rather have it on because I do like the I do like the extra lighting. So, yeah, that's why it looks like it's morning for me. <laughs> that, I'm also in Europe. <laughs> I moved overnight and have the same garbage Wi-Fi. Hams get more pressure. Uh, Romanoff nearly found his second of the net. Uh, then Seattle gets a few good looks, but Monty stands tall. The game's really starting to open up. Starting to open up. Uh, Lekkinen, Hoffman, Paling all had some pretty good chance to score. Then the Canadians with the power play. Lazon gets calls for holding Caulfield. Has to get some good looks early, but the Kraken were able to kill it off. We were 0 for 5 on the power play tonight. No shots on the power play tonight. We were not looking good on the, the power play, surprisingly. Um, yeah. Habs then kept pressuring. There's some several good looks. Lekkinen just tipped a shot wide. Romanoff shot. Uh, Romanoff shoots. Uh, Romanoff shot then goes off of Lekkinen's skate. Habs kept pressuring. Kraken get a few looks, but they were not able to extend the lead. Then we scored. Our turn, uh, sorry, Nick Suzuki. Adam Larson backhands it in his own net after Suzuki gets the initial shot. It's 3-3 Sherratt and Romanoff with the assists on that. Then Yul Armia gets pushed into the net. It The crossbar knocks into Grubauer, and neither Lazon or Grubauer were happy with Armia. So shots were 32-30 for the Kraken, uh, but we were tied 3-3 headed into overtime. Uh, Suzuki hits Grubauer's arm with the puck early on. Then Sherratt gets robbed, a price-esque glove save by Grubauer. Then Lekkinen went out with Grubauer, 22 seconds left. Should have arguably been roughing on Grubauer. I would say probably should have been. Um, there's some back and forth in between uh, Sherratt's shot and Grubauer going out of Alekinen. Uh, there's a two-on-one for the Kraken, two-on-one with Caulfield. And then Grubauer came out, and Alekinen kind of got in front of him trying to get the puck. Grubauer got pissed. I thought Alekinen should have passed to Caulfield in the two-on-one, not just because, oh, it's Caulfield, but because there was a guy predicting the shot from Alekinen, and Caulfield was kind of open, so you just have to kind of saucer to him. Probably could have been a goal, but final shots. We're 33-32 for the Kraken, and we are headed to a shootout. And here we go. 
like misses the net. Ryan Donato miss us uh, is saved by Montembeau. Caulfield misses the net. Both of those pretty embarrassing. Eberle gets saved. Nick Suzuki misses the net. Three straight misses. McCann gets saved. Mike Hoffman gets saved uh, on a uh, attempted Forsberg shot. Riley Shan gets saved. Paul Byron is saved on it. Actually, a pretty solid opportunity. Morgan Geeky misses the net. Armia misses. Kelly Arncro misses or is saved. Sorry. Uh, Adam Larson is so devoted to the tank they scores on himself. I I agree, Jacob, and I love that. I think that's pretty funny. Pazetta misses the net, and Marcus Johansson scores. So the Canadians miss the net on five of their seven shots, and the two they get off were not even that good. Um, yeah, um, and I put seriously no Anderson or Lennon on the shootout. Uh, Kraken win it 4-3 to three in the shootout. I thought instead of maybe Armia and Pazetta, that's when you should have gone Anderson and Lekkinen, unless there was some type of injury with them. Unless maybe Lekkinen is being traded and he wasn't even on the bench for the shootout and they just didn't note it. But I'm pretty sure they were on the bench and they were healthy. So, yeah, it's just a thing where, yeah, no, Marty St. Louis just didn't put them out there, which Lekkinen is more surprising than Anderson because Lekkinen actually had a really – it's more surprising than Anderson because Lekkinen actually had a really, really good game, how good of a shot he does have. Um, it is surprising that they, they wouldn't even give him a chance. At least Armia kind of woke up today, must have heard of teams calling. Really, Jacob? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, hey, if teams are calling about Armia, I'd be very happy about that because um, we can rid ourselves of that contract. But I mean, hey, I, I, Armia did look good at least in some points. Like when he missed the empty nets, at least he went for them and didn't just pass it off to no one. Like at least he went for them. Like we're at the point with Armia where we're just saying at least he's trying. You know, like it's, it's, it's getting bad. With uh, with Armia, you know, I'm hoping that he he does end up getting traded, and it wouldn't surprise me if he does. So yeah, guys, not much activity today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the stats and end the stream pretty quickly. Nice train man just passed. Zach, I had agree, man. Zach, by the way, hope you're having a good day. Uh, hope you're having a good day. Enjoy your time at your girlfriend's, and thank you, man. Yeah, I mean, shootout is nothing to be disappointed by. I I would probably agree. It's just the style in which we lost in the shootout. We just didn't play well. Nick Suzuki leads the Montreal Canadiens. Can I get it? <sighs> Nick Suzuki leads the Canadians in points with 14 goals, 27 assists, 41 points. Stalins is back. God damn it. I'd use her on this site. Bye bye, Stalins. Get the fuck out. Uh, Lekkinen has 12 goals, 15 assists, 27 points. Josh Anderson has 15 goals, 10 assists, 25 points. Cole Caulfield, 8 goals, 16 assists, 24 points. Ren Pitlick with 11 goals, 12 assists, 23 points. Tyler DeFoley, who's no longer on the Canadians, nine, had nine goals, 14 assists, 23 points. Mike Hoffman with 12 goals. Um, uh, Mike Hoffman, 12 goals, 10 assists, 22 points. Jonathan Duryad, who is... <sighs> Jonathan Duryad, who is currently hurt, has five goals, 15 assists, 20 points. Jake Evans, six goals, 11 assists, 14, uh, 17 points. Ben Sherratt, seven goals, eight assists, 15 points. Christian Dvorak, seven goals, seven assists, 14 points. Brendan Gallagher, five goals, nine assists, 14 points. Sorry about your head. My 10-inch rod was pretty sharp. Hey, don't worry about it, Dom. It's all good, my guy. Don't worry. Uh, Brendan, uh, sorry, yeah, Brendan Gallagher, five goals, nine assists, 14 points. Ryan Paling, five goals, eight assists, 13 points. Chris Weidman, two goals, 11 assists, 13 points. Jeff Petrie, four goals, eight assists, 12 points. Drak Kulak with two goals, 10 assists, 12 points. David Savard with one goal, eight assists, nine points. He's currently hurt, unfortunately. Also, so is uh, Dvorak. Uh, Michael Pozzetta with five goals, two assists, seven points. Alexander Romanov with uh, three goals, three assists, six points. Laurent Dauphin, who was very surprisingly a healthy scratch tonight, uh, with two goals, four assists, six points. Yol Armia, two goals, three assists, five points. Sammy Niku, who is currently in the AHL with five assists. Matthew Perot with three goals, one assist, four points. Paul Byron, one goal, two assists, three points. <laughs> um, Jesse Leon and Kel Clegg, who's unfortunately hurt with one goal, one assist, two points. Cedric Paquette and Corey Shenneman, each with two assists. Lucas Vandemon and Raphael Harvey Pinard with a goal. And Adam Brooks, who's no longer on the team, had one assist. Uh, trade bait board. Thank you, Fazio. J Jacob Chikrin, can't see him getting traded. Um, yeah, Paquette on, on waivers is a miracle. I agree, Sandwich. Armia being sent on shootout over Luckin was a mistake. I couldn't agree more, Sandwich. I would agree. Uh, but trade bait list. Chikrin can't see him getting traded yet. Giroux, I could see him going to the avalanche. Schrott, absolutely he's going to get traded. Yes, Byron. 
Yes, sons. Byron having one goal. Extremely sexy. No doubt. Uh, Klingberg probably traded unless Dallas is like kind of in a playoff spot. Manson, I could maybe see him getting traded. Raquel, I can't see him getting traded. Giordano, I could maybe see getting dealt back to Calgary. DeBrusque, I don't see him moving in the deadline until the uh, the draft. Uh, Georgiev, I don't think he's going to get moved. Um, Colin Miller, I don't know if they move him. Brendan Hagel, I, Hagel, I don't think he's getting moved. And Justin Braun, I think he is getting moved. Actually, Brendan Hagel, I could see getting moved if, if he can fetch a decent return. And then Domi, oh, never mind, Rip. Um, yeah, guys, so that is going to do it for today's stream. What we're going to do, boys, is I believe we are in the final, I believe, three games for the Canadians uh, before the trade deadline. So I believe what we're going to do is I am going to um, wrap up the stream, obviously. What we're what I'm tempted to do, boys, is we're going to obviously do the final three games of the year. What I'm tempted to do... Um, what I'm tempted to do is go through and potentially stream 